this year, I will be undeniable. Hey, Brian Ansley here, your two-time Classic Physique and Olympia champion, going for the third championship this year in Orlando, Florida at the Mr. Olympia contest. Take a journey with me, Vanquish style. What inspired me to first get into bodybuilding was an injury in football. <laughs> I always lifted weights. I always loved lifting weights since I was 13 years old, and it was a natural progression to get into bodybuilding because I enjoyed weightlifting. As I got into bodybuilding, I started uh, getting influence from some of the big time bodybuilders, uh, to name a few. Flex Wheeler, Sean Ray, I saw them on the magazines and they were some of my biggest inspirations uh, to get into the bodybuilding game. Those physiques were a, very aesthetically pleasing. They had great flow to them, great lines, great definition, eye popping along with the musculature. Specifically, Flex Wheeler was able to do the splits and he was very flexible and very athletic with it. And that was very impressive to me to carry that much muscle and to be athletic and to be able to move it in that fashion. I mimicked my uh, black swan style uh, after that type of athleticism, that type of bounce, that type of fluidity. So a fun fact was I used to be neighbors with Flex Wheeler. He didn't know it at the time because I was too shy to go up to him and say hello. This was when I was 12, 13 years old. I knew who he was at the beginning of like 10, 11 years old when I started to follow the magazines, Flex Magazine, Muscle and Fitness. He was on all those magazines and then he, was, he became my neighbor at 12, 13 years old in Roland Heights, California. Funny, I was able to tell him about all of this in 2017 when he made a comeback in the classic physique division and uh, he got a kick out of that story. But he was definitely one of my biggest inspirations uh, coming up in the game. So my favorite saying is earn your pancakes and how I earn my pancakes is simply just to work hard and to expect nothing to be given to me. To work hard for everything, I use pancakes as the subject matter because it's just fun and I love them so much. I actually think that I'm top five in the world in loving pancakes that much. Top five in the world, okay? So just to work hard, have fun doing it, and ultimately be better than yesterday. So the plan this year is to be undeniable. And how I'm gonna attain that is to master all my basics and then some. And when I talk about the basics, the basics are eating meals on time, making sure that you get all the workouts in, all the training, all the posing, everything that will lend itself to to me, performing my best and being the, and looking like the best athlete up there, we have to be aggressive with mastering all those things to be a champion. So I have the exciting opportunity to choose between staying in Classic and moving to the 212 division. I'm given seven more pounds in the Classic division, and I don't know if some of you know, but for the past three to four years, I've had to drop my carbohydrates to nearly zero for the past four to six weeks leading into the show. The reason being is because uh, for my weight cap in Classic, it's been so low at 180 pounds to where I was forced to lose muscle because of it. In doing that, I could not bring my best physique on the stage. So now we're giving these pounds and it's going to be no choice but an undeniable look. What would it mean for me to win again would mean everything. All this hard work is I, I do it only to be number one and to be the best and to be the champion. Three would be amazing, three would mean everything, and I feel like three championships, three gold medal is the mark of a legacy. And so my training split has changed accordingly, which I'm very excited about. This time I get to focus on weight training rather than cardio. So before, when I had to, when I was emphasizing cardio to just lose weight and get down to the weight cap, uh, it affected energy levels. It affected a look of more maybe of a tired physique on stage because when you're, when you're losing muscle and you're not able to hold on to all of your muscle, you tend to present a softer look and a look that carries a little bit more water underneath the skin. When you're able to focus on building muscle and keeping the muscle, you're able to go through the process of a carbohydrate refeed and a refill uh, leading into the show to where we call filling up. And what that does is push the muscle up against the skin even more 
and you get leaner in the process of filling up and filling out as opposed to when I was emphasizing cardio more to get down to the weight when you go through that process of filling up and filling out now we're able to capitalize on that process and present a much cleaner crisper look on the stage that pops and is uh, has a lot more wow factor being a two-time champ carries a lot of pressure and a lot of expectations along with it and especially uh, trying to go for a third gold medal what I like to do to not have the pressure consume me and overwhelm me is smile all the time, understand that this process is a privilege, understand that this process is, uh, uh, it's a great thing to, to have, it's just all positive. And what I like to do is I like to meditate. I like to meditate, quiet everything down, get spiritual with myself and just understand that I'm in a great position to have this type of impact and, and to be put in this position and just keep everything fun, you know, laugh, dance, joke, and it's all good because at the end of the day, I'm privileged to be able to have this type of impact on people, have this type of impact on the world, and I don't take it lightly. So that allows me to stay lighthearted in this process that can be very arduous. Plans that I have after bodybuilding. Well, uh, I'm a lot more than a bodybuilder and uh, I have a lot of things that I would like to do and accomplish and even get back into. I would wanna get back into the entertainment business. I was in the entertainment business and I was an actor for around 10 to 11 years uh, in things like Fast and Furious. I've had numerous amount of national commercials and in TV shows and then bodybuilding came around. So. I'd like to get back into the entertainment business. Uh, I'd like to own a gym in the Valley by where I live, maybe even public speaking, get more into more uh, promoting bodybuilding shows. Just get the name and the brand, keep flourishing the name and the brand. So this year, the plan is to get a third title, third gold medal. I'm gonna do everything in my power, master all my basics to make sure that I'm undeniable.